How can technology help you be more competitive and stay ahead of the game? Our next guest is going to tell us how ideas considered impossible in the past are now quite possible. We're delighted to kick off the broadcast this week with the president and CEO of Autodesk, Carl Bass. Carl, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm great. Thanks very much, Dave. And thank you for having us. We had the opportunity for the first time in our nearly 15-year history of broadcasting to come to Autodesk last year. And frankly, my first concern was, wow, can we get three hours of good stuff? We could have gotten three years worth of good stuff last year. It just amazed us the amount of design and how it influences our daily lives as consumers, let alone everything else that's going on from a business standpoint. So kudos to you and your team for putting together a heck of an event that is not only in person here in Las Vegas, but you've got thousands attending virtually, literally around the world. No, it's actually been a great event. Glad you were here last year. Glad you're here this year. Yeah, and uh, this is the first year where we've really had a big presence online, mm. you know, that's simultaneous with the event. Yeah. And I heard as of this morning there were 16,000 people registered wow. to watch the events, on, you know, online. That's pretty, and, of course, it'll only grow from there because as more people get word and even after the event when people want to catch up on what they may have missed or even if they were in attendance and couldn't get to all the events and so forth, there's so much to learn and so much to share. It's oh, yeah, cool. no, this is absolutely fantastic. And you're right, the number's just going to grow. That was just people who were going to watch the events going on these few days yeah. live. Yeah, amazing, truly amazing. Well, first of all, can you tell our audience, Carl, what is Autodesk University, the whole concept and how it all started? Yeah, so I think Autodesk University, it's, it's probably 16, 17 years old. But the, the primary objective, and therefore the name, it's all about education. And it's really about the education of our users. And people come here to improve their skills, learn more about how technology and their profession intersect, mm -hmm. as well as to meet others who do jobs like them or who they have to collaborate with, you know, every day. Yeah. But really the focus of it is the three to 400 classes that we teach every year here. And the interesting thing about the classes is they're primarily taught by members of the community. So this is not by Autodesk staff. Yeah. These are people who are on their own time, take the effort to put together a curriculum, uh, bother to come to Las Vegas and stand in front of their colleagues for no money and only ridicule, <laughs> and, they get, and they get up there and they get to teach others how to use the kind of tools that we make. That is so cool. And I only learned doing other interviews earlier today that uh, some seven or 800 people are also taking certification classes here and becoming certified in the various Autodesk products, becoming more valuable to their current employer, perhaps leaving, getting a better <laughs> job, or leaving getting a job at all in, in this recessionary time. <laughs> yeah, we never advertise this fact, but there's probably a fair amount of job hunting that goes on here. No doubt. A lot of great networking, and that has to be part of it, sure. That is. You know, people just find, you know, similar Similar people, you know, kind of birds of a feather. Yeah. So someone working on projects that they would find exciting, interesting. And so that naturally happens. But yeah, at the heart of it is the education. And with it is the certification. The certification is just the process whereby people not only take the classes, but they take a test to prove they know what they learned about. What's interesting is we talked about last year for our first time attending AU, and a lot of our listeners were saying, oh, yeah, that's the company that does AutoCAD, which is a great thing to be known for, no doubt. Uh, and, and the growth in, what, 27 years of AutoCAD is, is pretty phenomenal, uh, to say the least. But there's so much more than that, as we learned. I mean, you touch every element of our lives in one way or another as it is to help folks designing the products. Right. I mean, many people certainly know us for AutoCAD. And as you said, it's a good thing to be known for. Sure. But we do so much more. You know, and just by looking at the main stage this morning, you saw a range of things where we're helping with people who are architecting and engineering buildings. We saw people doing product design, you know, from the smallest nanotechnology up to commercial airliners. Yeah. And then we got that special treat of actually getting to see John Landau and the story of Avatar, which is, you know, representative of the kind of media and entertainment customers who do things like make games and film. And, of course, aside from your opening keynote, which you always make fun and, and have a great time and people are just drawn to learning as much as they can, what's your personal favorite part as president and CEO of Autodesk of AU? What do you pump the most about every so, year? So there's two things that are always fun. So one are the just kind of the coincidental, you just run into somebody and they say something interesting. I mean, I've already run into a handful of people who I was, you know, in walking through the halls here, I get stopped a lot, but a couple times I go, oh, I so have wanted to meet you. 
Cool. And so, you know, it's a handful of people I met. I had a, gr- I had a great conversation with John Landau this morning. Our companies have worked closely together, but I didn't know him before, so that. But there's two events that I always think are really fun. One is this event called Pachacacha, which is going on on Wednesday night. And we're having a Pachacacha event in which people come. And think about it as like an open mic night for designers. It's like a wow. poetry slam for designers. <laughs> and people get up there and just like open mic, they talk about a design. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting format. You get to show 20 images for 20 seconds each. So in seven minutes, six minutes and 40 seconds, you have to tell your story. And there'll be somewhere between 10 or 15 of these presenters. And it's fascinating just seeing the stories. And it really gives you kind of the motivation behind all the things that people make and why they create these things. And then the second event, which is uh, going on tonight, is something called the Design Slam, where people get up in front of a crowd and filled with loud music and drinking and everything else, and a handful of people get up on stage, and they sit behind a desk, and they actually design something while everyone else is kind of dancing and drinking. And so... That's probably a challenge in and of itself. It is. You've got to get your message across, but how much fun is that, I guess, for everybody? And I heard what's really fun is the first time people saw them working with the mouse and everything was jittery, and then they realized it was just the sound of the music. <laughs> it wasn't how nervous they were. It was just loud. <laughs> it's that bass that's moving the mouse <laughs> Exactly. So, so those two events are really, you know, my favorites. And I can understand why. And, of course, the whole thing, you hit the nail on the head when you talk networking as well. We, we hear that word constantly from everyone we talked to last year and this year, that this is the best networking opportunity for all the reasons. Learning about products, uh, being certified about products, gaining that knowledge, sharing ideas. And that's pretty cool, too, in the design community to share those ideas. Yeah, I mean, I think the people who do this kind of work are incredibly passionate about it. They dedicate their lives to it. And so this, this is one of the opportunities they get every year to get together with people like them who have some of the same interests, same concerns. And, you know, the truth is it's not everyone in your life who cares as much about how do you run Maya or how do you run Inventor (laughs) as I do. And But this is a place where you can find someone else who cares about that as much as you do and maybe even knows more about it than you do. And so it's a phenomenal opportunity. Well, we've got to get you back when there's more time. But now we thank you for kicking off this week's broadcast, for helping clear the way for the next three hours, talking to a whole bunch of great Autodesk folks, many of your partners and customers and and just others that are attending here that we can crack I'm into these three hours. Thanks for setting the stage and helping us kick it off. Oh, thanks very much, Dave. Our pleasure. Carl Bass, the president and CEO of Autodesk, autodesk.com, of course, the site that we'll be linking to with many of the guests over the next three hours. We invite you to stay tuned and be sure and catch all three hours of today's show, including the video for all of the interviews and, of course, highlight videos. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. I'm Dave Graveline. This, the Advanced Media Network.